Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to my new video. It's Hypno here. I really hope you enjoy and in today's video I'm gonna be playing the currently best log bait deck inside of Clash Royale on top ladder. So we in the first game right here against Talal and Talal always plays with like um, Evo Recruit. So yeah, let's see what kind of variation he's playing. He's mostly playing with like Firecracker also and the Wall Breakers, but I'm not sure if he's playing with the Goblin Barrel right now because at early season he was playing with the Evo Goblin Barrel. So yeah, maybe he's still playing with it. Not too sure. He pops the ability, but really not the greatest ability to be honest. I'll just go for my Electro Spirit and Skeletons and Man, I kind of have to log that to be honest. I could have went for my Goblin Barrel on defense, but okay, that's so unlucky with the timing, man. I logged the recruits and at the same moment he goes for the Goblin Barrel. That's pretty unlucky to be honest. And I really didn't know that he had the Goblin Barrel. Like, I knew that he could have the Goblin Barrel, but I really didn't expect it. Like, because it's really not that great in the current meta. So I'm kind of surprised he's playing it. It would make a little bit more sense maybe to run um, the Evo Cracker for him. I'm not too sure to be honest. Maybe the Goblin Barrel is better in his kind of deck because it's, it generates like super good double lane pressure when he has like a Recruits and Evo Goblin Barrel push. Then that's gonna be like quite hard to defend. I will definitely have to be like very careful of that. So yeah, good to know that he has the Evo Goblin Barrel now. But he needs to cycle it one more time or like one more time and then once again and then he will have the evil goblin barrel so i don't really have to be scared of his upcoming goblin barrel because it's still gonna be the normal one so yeah this should be a kind of like easy defense to be honest and like one recruit is already dead which is already good i'll just go for my goblin barrel on defense this time so like if he would have goblin barreled right there my wait i'll just use my electro spirit to defend to be honest i want to keep my log because i could maybe go for like a goblin barrel and log predict them okay he gives me good log value right here and i can just go for my next barrel because he just played his gang and his goblins which both are like his best um, goblin barrel counters as you can see he doesn't have anything for the barrel now now so that's like 1.2 thousand damage which is very good damage so we're looking kind of good right here now and okay, he's definitely gonna recruit, so I predict that with my evil skeletons. Hopefully my evil skeletons can spawn like a lot of evil skeletons right here. And okay, they are kind of choking. My evil skellies are kind of selling me. That was a nice prediction, like predicting the evil recruits, or not the evil recruits, the normal recruits with the evil skeletons. But unfortunately the evil skeletons still died, so good, gonna be a good log right here hitting like his goblins. So the goblins are actually on tower from my goblin barrel, so very nice damage right there. And the princess is splashing also, so that's quite nice. And his recruits are already kind of dead. I'll go for my defensive goblin barrel right here. Okay, I'll, go, I'll lock the right side because I can take like a little bit of damage on the left. Yeah, he gets the wall breaker connections, but he still has more damage on the right side. So we're looking very good because both of his towers took more damage than both of my towers. So we kind of chilling right here. Not gonna go for the goblin barrel. Yeah, that was kind of obvious. He would try to try to predict that with the goblin gang. And I'm just gonna lock the left side here. Wow, okay, that's gonna be crazy log value. Also hitting the goblins, so very nice log value right there. And I can just pressure him on the right side with my Evo Knight and Evo Skellies right here. And now I can just go for my Goblin Barrel plus Rocket, I feel like, because he has to go for Goblin Gang or Goblins and he can't defend the barrel. Yeah, the Evo Skellies all, almost also connected, so that's gonna be GG's right here. Very nice Rocket Goblin Barrel to finish off the game, knowing he doesn't have anything to defend that. So, G wait, no way, we got a Mega Lightning Chest. Okay, that's crazy. I don't know when the last time was. And um, when I got one of these, so I'll actually open it up right here. And do I also have the... Okay, no, I don't have the lucky drop yet, but I can open the chest right here. So maybe we'll, we will get something nice. Okay. I mean, I already have all my cards at level 14. So I'm basically just... Besides champions, I have all cards level 14. So I'm basically just going to get elite wild cards right here. But that's actually crazy. Like 37 baby dragons was that? Yeah, and two legendaries. That's so much. Like, that's actually so nice, but I can't skip anything because I already have every, everything. So, 5,000 Elite Wild Cards right here is very nice. And GG's, I'll see you guys in the next game. We in the next game right here against this guy. I'm not gonna try to pronounce this guy's name because, yeah, I know already that it's gonna be sounding quite embarrassing if I try to pronounce a, a French name. So I'll just go for my knight right here and he has the Fisher, so probably gonna be Royal Giant or Normal Giant. Probably Normal Giant, yeah. Like most people that run the Fisherman are playing Giant. It's just because that 
yeah, there's more giant players in the current meta than royal giant players. So when you see the fisherman, it's more likely that they have the normal giant instead of the royal giant. At least if you're playing top ladder. I don't know how it is when you're playing mid ladder, to be honest. So I'll just go for the skeleton split, start to cycle back to my knight and... Yeah, my princess and all that. Also just cycling to my evil skeletons faster. I'll just go for the princess in the opposite lane right here. Yeah, very nice. He goes for the knight which in the back. That was kind of obvious he would go for something into the um, lane of the knight. And kind of a bad fisherman because that's gonna go on the opposite lane of the knight witch. So I can just get a very good goblin barrel down here. And okay, that's horrible from him because he has to put a spell onto the... Um, onto the evil skeletons, but then he can't like kill my inferno tower and he actually missed the evil skeletons So that should kind of be GG's right here because he doesn't have a lot of elixir He has to kill the evil skeletons, but at the same time defend the evil knight and he knows that's kind of impossible Possible for him to do he just goes for the arrows to give up purposely not um, hitting my princess and yeah, putting his fisherman into the evil skeleton. So it's gonna be GG's right here. Kind of a fast win. He just went like a little bit over aggressive right there. And okay, I have that emote also, buddy. I can um, drop it right here. So where is it? Where is the 20 win? There it is. Okay. Wait, no way. I got a legendary chest after I got a mega lightning chest. Okay, nah, I'm actually the luckiest player inside of Clash Royale. What the hell? I actually can't believe this right now. What? Like, look at this. I just, like, won against Talal. Then I lost to um, Starlight. So I didn't have, like, another win after my Mega Lightning chest. And now the next win, I already have my, like, um, legendary chest. That's kind of crazy. Back to back, like, these kind of chests. And Ice Wizard again. Okay, that's kind of crazy. In two games, I got two chests and got three Ice Wizards out of that. I gotta be the luckiest player ever. And... Okay, I still don't have my lucky drop yet, so, <laughs> okay. Yeah, GG's, I guess, and I'll see you guys in the next game. We in the next game right here against this guy, and guys, I still can't believe my chest luck. Like, what the hell? I've never gotten something like that in eight years of Clash Royale, to be honest. So, very happy to also catch that in, like, the recording of a video of mine. So, very nice to have that, and all I'm thinking about right now is if I win this game, Will I get another good chest? Like, is my account bugged? Like, do I have the luckiest account inside of Clash Royale right now? <laughs> we will see if I hopefully win this game. So, he goes for a good Goblin Barrel plus Electro Spirit. So, he go gets good chip right there. And looks like we are kind of in a Log Bait Mirror matchup right here. Just that he has, like, the Evo Tesla and I have the Inferno Tower as, like, um the buildings. But besides that, it's, like, everything the same. Just that I have the Evo Knight and he has the normal Knight because, yeah, he has the Evo Tesla as a second evolution. So I kind of have a better offense than him, but he can block the Princess Bridge with a Tesla, which I can't really do with the Inferno Tower. So that's kind of a little bit better for him also. So I feel like this matchup is kind of evened out, to be honest. Not the greatest Goblin Barrel from him because Electro Spirit just full counters that and... I could kind of just rocket his tower right now, to be honest. He has to predict my princess, and if I go for the rocket, he would still have to do that. But I'm actually just, just going to pressure him on the opposite lane because he went for the Tesla. I'm going to go for my princess right here. I know I could go for the rocket on the left side, but I kind of want to play it um, right now without the rocket and see what I can get done. And that should actually be three princess shots. So very nice princess damage right there with the help of the skeletons. And for me, it's kind of like I want to go in the opposite lane, but... It doesn't really matter in this matchup like you can go in the same lane on the or the opposite lane it doesn't really matter you just have to make sure that you catch like the princesses at the bridge which i didn't manage to do here but i managed to predict the evil skeletons but okay the princess doesn't hit all of the evil skeletons which is kind of unfortunate so not the greatest sequence for me right there unfortunately but yeah i can just rocket here and he's forced to rocket me back like if he doesn't rocket me back he's just gonna fall behind in damage and I'll make sure he doesn't get like another princess lock onto the tower for sure. So yeah, very nice princess prediction right there. And hopefully he doesn't expect mine. Okay, yeah, he actually didn't. And I can just lock the skeleton so my princess stays alive. No way. My princess is actually alive. So I'm ahead like so much damage right now, even though he rocketed the tower. So I really shouldn't like choke this from this point on because he needs four more rockets and I, I only need three more rockets. I could also go for like log cycle but then he's just gonna be going for um 
like goblin barrels on offense and he could maybe get good damage with the goblin barrel if i don't have the log in cycle because i try to log cycle him so i would be like more comfortable with just to getting two more rockets onto his tower okay i'll just block the bridge so yeah he can't go for the goblin barrel so perfect bridge block right there i'm not gonna rock it yet because i'll just make sure i defend his princesses because yeah i'm in a very good situation so no need to um try to rocket his tower and maybe choke the game because i will be down a lot of elixir when i can just focus on defense right now and this is gonna be like the time to rocket the tower i feel like because yeah his princess is far from the bridge and he can't really get another good goblin barrel push down i'm just gonna go for my princess right here i want to save the log and i actually don't even need to play the log because that's not gonna be getting a lot of damage i can just save my log if he like spams the bridge right here and i need it to defend so yeah that's gonna be ggs right here nothing he can do pretty nice gameplay in the mirror matchup and yeah i'll see you guys in the next game oh wait do we get another good chest right here Okay, nah, we only got the light gold, so unfortunately not, and I'll see you guys in the next game. We in the next and final game for today against this guy, and guys, the update should be coming on Monday, yeah, on Monday. And I think the balance changes will also be coming on Monday, so yeah, be ready for next week, because the game will change quite a lot with the new balance changes and the new cards that are coming out so the meta will be kind of different and yeah you can like you will see a lot more new decks again and i will be playing a lot more new different log bait decks again and maybe like a lot of my old log bait decks also that i had like been playing um four or five months ago um before the dagger duchess tower came out so yeah we will be seeing like a very nice new meta i feel like i mean maybe the new meta will also be toxic but but at least we will get to have like a new meta because the meta has been kind of the same for the past two months it's like only been basically giant to be honest and um yeah like spell cycle and that's basically it so um yeah very happy to finally get a new meta next week and Okay, I'll lock in and um, make sure I win this game because I'm playing against Giant Balloon right here and I really don't want to be losing against that kind of deck. So, okay, he goes for the Wizard. I can just go for the Goblin Barrel once the Wizard walks up because, yeah, the Dagger is still low and I'll go for the Princess also because I know that's going to be kind of annoying for him to defend. Yeah, he has to waste the Evo Barbs onto that. I'll go for the Electro Spirit to get to my Evo Skeletons and also stun the Barbarian so my Evo Skellies can hopefully survive. And yeah, the Evo Skellies actually wrecked the Evo Barbarians right here. So I feel like he's going to lose right here because like defending the Evo Knight and the Evo Skeletons is kind of impossible for him. He doesn't have the Rage in Cycle to kill the Evo Skeletons. So there's no way he could really like stop that kind of push. So that's definitely going to be GG's right here. Nothing he could come like do to come back this game. So yeah, very nice and fast last game to finish off the video. Evo Knight, Evo Skeletons is just kind of unstoppable in single elixir, I feel like, if they overcommit. So yeah, very nice game and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys for the next video tomorrow. Bye!